So once a person learns how to drone, the next thing they often want to do is, of course, circular breathe. However, before we move on to circular breath, we need to learn vocalizations. The vocalizations is what makes a didgeridoo sound so wild. And most times people don't realize that when you're playing this instrument that you're going to have a drone, you're going to have the vocals, what you're saying through it, what you're singing, and you're also going to have rhythm and beats based on your breathing pattern. So, first of all, vocalizations are very easy. You just simply sing through it in a way. So let me demonstrate. This is how the ditch sounds without a vocal. sounds like with vocalization. Vocalizations make the didgeridoo much more expressive and the drones, while interesting, tend to get a little boring after a while. You can vocalize in any pitch, any key, you can go up and down the chromatic scales if you would like and it's a simple easy way to express yourself within a, a musical circle without having to yet learn your your circular breathing technique so i hope this tutorial has been beneficial thank you